Day 31. I just can't do it. I'm too tired. The strength of the laborers is giving out, and there is so much rubble that we cannot rebuild the wall. Nehemiah 4.10 Faith rests on the written word of God, but there is no promise that he will repay our debts. The word says, owe no man anything. Romans 13.8, King James Version. The promise is given to his children. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Hebrews 13.5 He that believeth on him shall not be confounded. 1 Peter 2.6 We have not scriptural grounds to go into debt. George Mueller Don't quit now. You are more than halfway there. Sure, times are tough and you feel like giving up. And there is an enemy out there that is lurking around every corner to tackle you like a linebacker. But this is no game. This is a matter of financial life and death. I just got a call from Susan and she said she was trying to muster enough courage to call for help. She was at her wit's end. A co-worker had been pestering her to seek help before it got worse. The debt, the hopelessness, the anxiety, the sleepless nights, and the regrets were piling up and she was feeling the pain. I couldn't sleep last night, she said. She didn't know where to turn. She knew God would never leave her, but she was still faced with the reality of her financial mess. She and her husband had already downsized to an apartment. The house was long gone. A gift from God and a 19-month-old baby made this couple into a family. But with it came additional responsibilities. She earned more than her husband, but her salary barely covered the rent and utilities. Her husband worked only during the school year. Each day brought forth additional debt and further worry. I will not soon forget the time I heard a mortgage broker tell me debt was good and that everyone should have it. If he could only hear the broken heart on the other side of the telephone, he might be freed from his prison of self-deception. The feelings are real though, and the consequences of financial pain are visceral, and they manifest themselves in physical ways. According to an Associated Press AOL health poll, when people are dealing with mountains of debt, they are much more likely to report health problems such as ulcers, severe depression, heart attacks, trouble concentrating, and sleeping, and are even more prone to get upset for no good reason. Some 10 to 16 million people are, and I quote, suffering terribly due to their debts, and their health is likely to be negatively impacted, says Paul J. Lavrakis, a research psychologist and AP consultant who analyzed the results of the survey. Susan knew the reasons and symptoms without an expert weighing in. She was experiencing the pain that seemed to never go away. Many experience a temporary fix to their heartache by anesthetizing their pain and diverting their heart. A new purchase, a new drug of sorts, as Huey Lewis sang about in the 1980s. Susan had purchased a new car within the year to cope with the difficult economic times facing her family. Now she drove the new car without auto insurance, a very risky gamble all because she didn't have enough for the payment, the rising cost of fuel, and insurance. She trusted God for salvation, but not really to help her maneuver her family's finances. True, they moved into an apartment, but it was still more than they could afford. Her husband was off during the summer, and lining up a job during that time was not a priority for him. They needed to take the next step, living below their means and trusting God to open the doors and provide for them in miraculous ways. She surrendered the rest of her heart to God on the telephone. She was willing to get out of the boat and walk towards the outstretched hand of Christ and trust him to never leave her nor forsake her. The fear that has riveted her to remain in her overpriced apartment and drive a car she could not afford caused her to believe she was a prisoner. It was a beautiful search and rescue though. I consider it a taste of heaven to watch this transformation take place time and time again in people's lives. For all of you who are tired and weary and cannot go on any longer, Jesus sends you this message. Tired, worn out, burned out on religion, come with me and recover your life. Learn the unforced rhythms of my grace. The forces against you will not prevail and the forces that hold you will not fail.